Hi, this is Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome back to our special Butterscotch.com 10-part series on Quicken Online. In this segment, we're going to look at adding your bank accounts. And this way, you can pull all your financial information into Quicken Online and be able to work with it. So here, they have lists of popular financial institutions. Yours might be one of those. You can also search by alphabet, or you can type in up here, Bank of the West. So here I found Bank of the West. Now what you need to provide is the username and password that you use to sign in to your financial institution. So it's not asking for a username for anything else. If you have your account online with your bank, you need to put in the information that you use to log into your bank. And you'll forgive me if I don't provide you with my login information. Now, once you've provided your login information and clicked the button, it'll ask you one of the security questions that you've arranged with your bank. Like what was your first car, where was your mother born, and so on. To verify that it's you, then it'll go out and it'll bring in your account information. Now, you may want to use all of your accounts, you may not. You can select what type of account they are, and you can also uncheck the ones that you don't want to use. Then when you're ready, you can click continue. So congratulations, here are the accounts you've added. It's getting in transactions for the last 90 days. Now you see here, the bank is requesting more information to make sure that it's secure and to make sure that it's me. Once again, you'll forgive me if I don't give you my security answers. Now, having verified my identity by answering the security question, Quicken Online is pulling in my transactions. Now, if I want, I can start using Quicken Online or I can go back and add another account. So, this is adding bank accounts to Quicken Online. Keep in mind that this is a multiple part series and be sure to watch all 10 parts.